It's about five seconds before check-in, yes. and we've lost Corey and we Travis. Have, we have no idea where they went. Travis just wandered off. Corey took it with him. So I guess we're NintendoWorks.com now. We're saying that the whole we're time, the whole match. And he was getting like... I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking at the camera or you because you're asking questions. No, you look at the camera. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Reggie Fizame. Good morning! Hello, and welcome to Nintendo's E3 presentation. Today, I will introduce the newest version of Zelda made exclusively for Wii, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I think this game will be remembered as a key turning point in Zelda's long history. I can't believe how well that works. I know. I really. Right? Oh yeah, you went. You tried it too. It's just like ah, this is gonna be whatever. And it's like oh man, 3D. Yeah, and it's sharp as hell. Yeah, it really is. It's a really nice screen, and I don't know. I'm really impressed with it. So it looks really cool. Hi, Brittany. I'm Kevin. This is Corey, and our videographers Garrett and Travis. Let me put my bag down here. So okay, this is the new Scribblenauts, right? It's super Scribblenauts. Yes. Uh, Scribblenauts, but super. Oh, okay. So you're obviously familiar with the first one. We are. Much, you know, anything you think of in the game, box tree, lumberjack, dialysis machine, whatever. Of course. So in this one, the big thing we've changed is adjectives. Adjectives, all right. So we've got that standard box from the first game. Yes. Oh no! That's bad. Oh, it's just happening. Are those like health bars there now? Yeah, so we've got some visual health you can put in there. Oh, that's yeah. great. But there's just been little tiny touches here and there yeah. that just kind of made the game way more awesome. Yeah, you, apparently you can control with the, 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 the D pad as well. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah. It's really good to know that Fifth Cell is actually really paying attention to a lot of little critiques and, and uh, coming up with stuff. That's so great. A lot of times video game designers love to make games year after year that are just terrible as if they don't listen to, I'm looking at you, Sega. Ride him, ride him. I think yeah. this is every dream I've ever had. <laughs> well, yeah, like you were saying with fan feedback, like if you look from Drawn to Life and Drawn to Life the next chapter, the changes in those games were huge because we got so much fan feedback yes. from it. So it's already something like, like we want to make games, but we want to make games that people want to play. Uh -huh. So there's really no point making games for us if no one's going to play them. Exactly, so, yeah. Like we got huge feedback, everyone hated the controls. So the first thing we did with this game is anytime you pause playground or level, regardless of where it is, you can switch to D pad. Okay. That easy. Now, off this guy. I run around with left and right, and I jump with feet. Oh, that's great. It's super simple. Right. People at home applauding. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go back to stylus, because I prefer the new stylus controls. Okay. Just like little tweaks here and there, like the camera does an auto snap back. You have to click Maxwell's head, and it'll go back to him. When you let go of the stylus, he 
stops moving at that immediate moment. Oh, that's great. So, like, little, little Yeah, those little moments were, were Maxwell. Where are you pulling the lava? Yeah. yeah. We'll throw you into a level. All of our levels are brand new. We've got 120 levels. It's fewer than the first game, but they're better in the sense that they're much longer and they're much deeper. Okay. So, like, this one... I hear there's more of an emphasis on puzzling this time yes. around. So, the last game was kind of like half adventure mode, half puzzle mode. So, you see the story get from point A to point B. And that's fun only so often. So I think in the final build we have maybe like around 30 of those, and most of them are all puzzle levels. So those are the ones the fans really, really enjoy. So this level is our uh, our midnight launch level. So everyone's waiting in line because they want to buy Super Scribble Nuts. And in the first game you can just go, oh screw it, I'll just put on a jetpack and fly to the front. You can't do that in this game because they'll see you cutting and you'll immediately fail the level. So what you have to do is you have to figure out how do I bribe these people? How do I let them cut? Yeah, so awesome. with this guy, obviously, I'd want, sorry, I'm going to step on your <laughs> foot. So with this guy, I'd obviously probably want to do like a dumbbell, but like what if I were to do um, like, uh, I could probably do red dumbbell or tiny dumbbell. That would work. Yeah, let's do tiny dumbbell. So you fix any of the things like where you can use a vending machine and handcuffs? So we like, fixed that very quickly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was an issue Are with our just, containers, so. Is there any kind of thing to keep you from doing some sort of... Uh, exploit stuff like that just over and over again. Like most of the exploit stuff that was shown up on YouTube. He was fine with it. Whatever, um, we ended up going through that. It was great because it's like a fan did all yeah. those scripts for us and they logged in and we had a repro case so it was fantastic. So what we is went this? through and fixed oh. all those. And I mean, the biggest issue with Scribble Knots is Artists. like everything touches everything else. Yeah. So we're thinking we have a very, very stable. I want to put wine, but I don't think that's going to be in the game. An artist? Yeah, because artists are into that sort of thing. But I don't want to just put like something like an easel or something. I want something that they... You should put a beret. They already got one. She's got one on. She's wearing a beret. Well, they need another one. Um, well, what kind of artist? She could be all sorts of different types of artists. She could be... Uh, maybe she's a video artist. We'll give her a camera. Oh, she's an artist. Of course she has a camera. Let's give her an adjective on that, too. Um, how about we switch from tiny. Let's do enormous. Enormous, um, scary, uh, canvas. what? Canvas. canvas. Canvas? Okay. Try it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's too big for her to hold. Well, <laughs> fine. All right. Uh, any kind of like, if you wanted to type that again, is there like a... Yeah, there's a recycle button down ah. at the bottom with the two little arrows. Oh no, yeah. Oh, that's great. So here, so that's, uh, this guy right there. So yeah, oh, that's great. And it'll actually save the last 12. Oh, okay. Originally, the first game really saved the last four. So kind of like, with so many adjectives and yeah, everything. Yeah, so many words you have to type now. Another thing we did add, since you can have like all that giant string of adjectives, let me show you real quick. You can actually pull up the uh, adjective quick bar. So this okay. is all the adjectives you can use in quick bars. So you can just go so far at the end. Yeah, so you have enormous, very impressive. Oh, that's really good. So apparently scary. Scary has a scary mask. Let's see how close this is to yeah. my favorite game ever. Mm -hmm. Garrett is really excited. Valkyria Chronicles 2. Back to Chronicles. So is that map sort of thing in like the old game, or yes. is it pretty much the same? And if you remember, we see this big screen, but he's really looking at this. And that's not in 3D, folks. My turn is now over. We'll see what the enemy does. That's exciting. This is exciting. So, so does it play pretty much like the first one? It's, it's, it's really close, yes. I, uh, Outside of not having the extra extra stick to change the camera, the camera's now on the top buttons. Yeah. But so, so for the most part, it's really just a handheld version of it. Pretty much. That's oh, good. Which makes it awesome. Yeah. Now, is it in 3D at all? Yeah. If you'll take a look, we uh, for, I mean, 
it is, I, I, I'm, I'm doing that. Right. So. But it's not popping out of the screen as you. <laughs> but look at this tank. <laughs> that is a tank. Whoa, that seems kind of like overkill right there. That's the best. Let's overkill that guy. Yes. So, so like, can, I don't know how this the first game worked. Can you, like, run over guys with the tank? You, you can run over guys with the tank. Mm -hmm. You can run over your own teammates by accident. Man, you're making me want to play the first one. The first one is an amazing game. So, this is actually a really fun game. Um, I was Jamie. You were Tim, right? Tim. Yeah. And um, what's great is you tilt this to the curves and press left, right for quick turns. Yeah. Also, the jumping really added a great mechanic. Yeah, yeah, that was actually. I wonder good. if there are different levels besides that just kind of large court. But um, but it, it, it was actually pretty fun to think about where they are and to have that jumping mechanic really added a lot, I think, to. So, would you want to try again another one of the race? Yeah, let's do the race because there's a race for so, Yeah. And. Uh, It wasn't nearly as fun. No, the arena's way better. I mean, it works fine. The racing was all right, but I didn't really understand what was going on most of the time. I thought the arena was a lot more fun. I think that it would have a little more sense. And besides, I don't think I ever remember from Tron a race. I remember them playing on the game grid, but it was never a race. So yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah, we're about what they do, all I can really say is that they help me play like I like to play. So the more pain I'm using, the more the game recognizes that. And the more these guys will help me play in that style. So, the more of the brightly colored suits and stuff you see. So, I'm making platforms for myself to jump down so I can come over here. Um, 